The Bonfios is my favorite device for airway management. It is very effective and very reliable, especially in rescue airway. The best part is, it is very durable. I'm using this one for teaching and I cannot remember how many times someone has dropped this on the floor. To learn more, this video will discuss the step-by-step -step approach in using the bone pills. To go anterior, fold the scope towards you. This is called the bar top maneuver. To go posterior, push the scope away from you. If you want to go to the right, twist the scope clockwise. And if you want to go to the left, twist the scope counterclockwise. You could use the ball fills through the eyepiece. Or you could use a camera system. On placing the ET tube on the scope, you must see a small crescent at the side of the screen. The, the crescent should not be big enough to obscure the view, but at the same time, it is big enough so that the scope is actually inside the ET tube. This will protect the patient from the scope. And at the same time, the scope is protected from the patient. Secure the ET tube with a ET tube holder. And here you can see an auto port. If you're expecting the patient to desaturate, you could actually place an auto here so that it will serve as apneic oxygenation. This will also blow away secretions and blood away from your view. To prevent fogging, place anti fog on the tip of the scope. There are three general ways in using the bone pills. One is the midline approach. Second is in conjunction with the laryngoscope plate, either with a direct laryngoscope or a video laryngoscope. And third is the retromolar approach. The easier way of using an optical stylet is the midline approach. It is the easiest way to learn endoscopy with the bone pills. If you're a beginner, hold the scope with your dominant hand. It is easier to learn control this way. You can use either hand once you're an expert. Perform a jaw thrust. When starting to use an optical stylet, it is easier if someone else will perform the jaw thrust. This will focus your effort on the actual endoscopy. Secure the scope in the midline of the mouth with your non-dominant hand. This is called the pull cue maneuver. Follow the airway while using the stang as the horizon. At the level of the uvula, perform the bar top maneuver. Once you've entered the glottis, Release the tube from the holder, then push down the tube. When you're used to the procedure, you can use your non-dominant hand to lift the mandible with your thumb and index finger. Use the thumb holding the mandible as an indicator for the midline. As long as the scope is touching my thumb, I know I'm in the midline. The easiest way of using the bone pills is in conjunction with the blade, either a direct laryngoscope or a video laryngoscope. The bone fills is maneuvered exactly like an ordinary stylet. However, you have the ability to see through the tip of the tube. The blade already swiped the tongue so you have more room to work with. 
It also provides a better orientation as most of us are already used to seeing a blade. And you no longer need to perform a jaw thrust. I prefer this technique over combination of rigid laryngoscope and a flexible scope since you can perform the laryngoscope and bone fills combo alone. You don't need an additional operator. What made the bone fills famous is the retromolar approach. It is done on patients with limited mouth opening. I've only done this in limited number of patients since there are limited indications for this technique. Some tips in troubleshooting. There are times when we only see pink, sometimes only white, and sometimes black. Why do I only see pink? Usually, the scope is too deep. Withdraw the scope slowly until you see something familiar. Follow the darker area. To avoid this, it is crucial to maintain good view all throughout endoscopy. You must recognize landmarks and use slow and subtle movements. Why do I only see white? The scope is too near the mucosa and you must withdraw the scope. Why do I only see black? If this happens, turn the light on. Always remember, follow the dark side. Some tips to remember. Go slow and use subtle movements. If you don't know where to go, try the darker areas. Remember, walls are dark, walls are bright. If lost, Move back slowly until you see something familiar. Identify landmarks, especially the uvula and the vocal cords. Practice on patients with normal airway before proceeding to difficult airway. Having someone to do the jaw thrust for you when you're starting to learn will allow you to concentrate more on endoscopy. It will also enable you to use the pull cue technique where you maintain the scope in the midline using your non-dominant hand while maneuvering with your dominant hand. Lastly, applying O2 gives you more time to perform the intubation. It will also allow you to focus more on endoscopy and worry less about desaturation.